I'm going to be showing you guys my tier list for the best options to take from the future stars swaps. Let's get into them and let me show you my top 10. Have you guys got a terrible team, no coins, and you want to buy some of the brand new players from the team of the year promo? Oh, go on, man. Well, look no further than MuleFactory.com. Go over there to get the cheapest, most safe, reliable coins and use the code NERDFIRE at the checkout for 5% off your order. Link is in the description down below. So today, as you guys know, I am going to be showing you my tier list for the future stars swaps. I've put together my top 10 options for you guys to take and they're all combinations So no solo options. There's no just like take one option These are the best 10 combination options to take for all 30 tokens if you complete them So in case you don't know the options for swaps, I'm gonna put them on the screen now This is a good graphic from criminal FIFA and foot sheriff shout out to them too These are the token options also on FIFA There's an additional one on the actual game if you look at it as you can see on the screen here There's actually an option for an 81 plus times 11 pack for two tokens So I assume that's actually part of the token swap so we're actually included them today. But what I want you guys to do is let me know in the comments below the combination you're going to go with from your swap tokens. Tell me the reason you're going to go for them options and let me know in the comments below. Anyways, that's enough of me talking. We've got 10 tiers to go through. Also, in case you're wondering, there's currently three tokens you can actually get already. The first one was given to everyone for free just if you logged on to Ultimate Team so you can get that straight away. The second one is actually through the New Year's special pack on the store for 500 FIFA points or I can't remember the coin total, but that is also available. And then the third one available right now is on the Team of the Year Challenge 1 SBC, as you can see. And the requirements for that SBC are countries and regions, minimum three, clubs minimum two, players from the same league, max five, rare players, minimum one, overall rating, minimum 75, and overall chemistry, minimum 22. Let's get into tier 10, and I'll see you guys over there. All right, here we are on to the tier list. Okay, so tier 10, we have got two things within this, and that is, first of all, the prime icon player pick. I personally don't think it's actually a bad option, but 27 tokens is a lot. But if you love an icon, that it's definitely worth doing. And then alongside that, you can actually get a future stars pack as well from Team 1. So not bad for 30 tokens, a prime icon player pick, and also the future stars pack. So tier 9 then. In this tier, we're going to go with the 2 times 85 times 10 and the future stars pack and also the 81 times 11. So actually, you're getting a lot of fodder back now. You're getting 31 players of fodder. Obviously, 20 of them guaranteed to be 85 plus and also a guaranteed future stars player. So not a bad option. Even at number 9, that is not bad at all. Okay, tier here now number eight. We have got once again the two times 85 times 10. And also I went with Zola because I think base Zola is definitely still usable in the game. And also it'd be nice to get a lot of fodder alongside him, the 85 plus times 10. So not a bad option. Maybe you could switch nine and eight because obviously nine you do get more fodder if you guys are more into the fodder and you're not really bothered about Zola. You can switch them to around. But I think them two are pretty solid options for nine and eight. On to option seven then. We've got the 85 plus times 10. We've got the Coutinho card, which is a questionable card because of the 80 pace for 10 tokens. Then we've got the future stars pack as well. And also once again, an 81 plus times 11. Now I think about it, a lot of these options are like switchable, especially from nine to seven. It's all down to personal preference. If you want to get your hands on the Coutinho card, that's a better option. If you want the zone, it's a better option. Or if you only really care about the fodder and the future stars packs, they're obviously the best option to go for with number nine. But they are definitely all similar, but all pretty solid options in my opinion. Okay, option number six then. We've got two icons in this one and the only time best is in this list. So George Best is in there. We're going to then put Zola in there. And then we've got the Future Stars pack. And also, let me just double check the 81 plus times 11. I decided to throw this in there because I think George Best has a very good card, but I feel like just going for him separately is just pointless. Chucking a Zola in there as well. Like I said, still usable now. A Future Stars, hopefully you can get a good pull and also you get a bit of fodder alongside. Once again, a very solid option for number six. Into the top five. This one is once again kind of questionable and could definitely be switched around. Basically the top 10 to about probably three, I think are all like interchangeable dependent on the person. But for number five, we've just got the 85 times 10 and also the 80 seven where is it player pick i think the 87 plus player pick is definitely debatable and different people have different opinions on it obviously if you don't remember in that player pick you can get either a winter wild cards foot centurions or a future stars team one and it's out of five options so you've got a good chance of getting a good player because it is 87 or above but it's worth it if you want to take that risk or not and whether it's worth going for okay number four we've got the 84 times 20 the 81 times 11 the future stars pack and also the 87 plus player pick again in that option before you're guaranteeing yourself a lot of 
fodder. Once again, you're getting 31 players, a guaranteed future stars player, and then also that player pick as well. I think that's a really good option. Like, that's a really good option to put a lot of your tokens in. I think that could be a very, very popular option if you guys are looking to take a bit of a gamble, but also guarantee yourself a bit of fodder. That is definitely the one to go for, in my opinion. Next up, we've got the 84 times 20 and the 85 plus times 10, and then Zola on top of that. So, once again, a lot of fodder. That's the highest amount of fodder we've seen, though, in terms of guaranteed rating. 30, 84 plus players, basically. Obviously, 10 of them being 85 plus guaranteed. And a Zola, like I keep saying, I genuinely think Zola is still pretty solid. He might not be, but I think he could definitely do a job, even just off the bench. So, that is my third option for this tier list. Now, on to the two big boys, the penultimate option. This one actually involves a couple of players, fodders, future stars packs. Let me show you it now. So, this one is actually the 84 times 20, Zola, Coutinho, and the future stars pack, and then the 81 times 11. So fodder is there, players are there, future stars packs there. It's a pretty damn good option. Maybe actually though, now I'm thinking about it more, maybe four might be better than two. It's actually quite hard, but like I keep saying, personal preference does come into play here. If you like Zola and Coutinho, if you like the look of the cards, it's definitely a good option and better than number four. But if you want the chance at the player pick, then you might go number four. But I think that is still a definitely a solid option for number two. Right then, number one to go. So in number one, we have got the 85 times 10, the 84 times 20, the 81 plus times 11, and the future stars pack. Fodder, fodder, fodder in this. If you add that all up, that is 41 fodder players, all guaranteed to be 81 plus or higher, and a guaranteed future stars player. And that there, I think, has to be the best option, especially if you guys are like me, at least, I wanted to get a lot of fodder in the club because there's going to be probably a load of SPCs through future stars. That right there seems like the holy grail for all 30 tokens. That gets you a load of players for your club. And that's why I put it at spot number one. So that concludes then my tier list for the future stars swaps. Like I said, they are the top 10. Obviously, there's other options you can go with. I think I might have even missed some things out of this, maybe. Actually, I think maybe everything is included, but, but a lot of them aren't actually repeatable in there because I think they're the best 10 ones you can go with. There's definitely other combinations you can go for, but that's the top 10 I've decided to go with. Like I said, let me know in the comments what option you're going to go with. What is your combination going to be for all 30 tokens? Do you think this is a good tier list as well? Let me know below. But if you guys enjoyed the video as well, please do smash the like button. Like I keep saying, let me know in the comments below your options you're going to probably go with for the future stars swaps. But yeah, guys, anyways, thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you did enjoy the video. And I hope to see you guys next time. Goodbye.